I think the Chinese are as, as important in today's football as the referee. Because basically they are, they are prepared to put their money where the mouth is. They are investing heavily across the board, not just within China but globally. They are building academies in Africa, as social initiative programs. They are investing in European clubs in the eastern of East Europe, uh, like uh, Slavia Prague. They are buying the board in Ter Milan, the board Atletico Madrid. They are buying media companies. They are buying football agencies. The biggest football agency in the world, is the Fute, is part Chinese owned, and they have. Uh, the financial muscle to really change the status quo. There have been concerns about the quality of football in China. Why do you still see the need to take players to China? Uh, it is very clear to you that China will be a force to reckon with uh, for several reasons. Some of the best coaches in the world are in China. The infrastructure is world class and uh, the coaching is improving. The government is putting a lot of money into development programs. And some of the best players in the world are going to China for the first time in their prime. They got Jevino from Ayers Roma, they just got Igalo from Watford. These are players at the peak of the powers. They got Ramirez, they got Oscar, they got Hawk. And today the national team of Brazil in the starting 11, there are at least two or three players coming out of China. That is a, as strong as it gets in terms of the statement. Is it not just about money? It's not about the money. It's about life, it's about the relentless pursuit of self-interest. It's about ticking a number of boxes, footballing reasons, and also financial, which we can refuse. And financial in the sense that uh, the value that is ascribed to a player by a particular club also helps in convincing the player that they are so interested and that he's so valued that they ascribe that kind of value to them. So should those in the Spanish, Italian and the Premier League be worried about the development in Chinese football at the moment? They should be worried because, I mean, Charles Darwin said it's not the strongest of the species that survive but the most adaptable. It's very clear that if Europe doesn't tweak its model a little bit, the Chinese will wipe them out of the map because they have more money. The economy of China is very vibrant. We are seeing in Europe now that things are changing from a financial perspective. Some of the markets are down. A lot of the clubs in Spain are owned by socios. They're hugely indebted. They have very fragile business models. So if you look outside of Real Madrid and Barcelona, you see that the Spanish football is not very healthy. If you go to Italy, um, the attendance is dropping by the day. And in China, the investment is going up. The big companies like Everglades, they're some of the biggest real estate companies in the world, China Mobile, Alibaba. Uh, rather than put the money in the Chinese tax system, they're putting it into football. And so if I was any European club, I would be very 